Victims of abuse have every right to feel and express anger. How tired are you of being told that you seem angry or bitter? Anger is a natural response to being mistreated, manipulated, and violated. It's a valid and powerful emotion that often arises from a deep sense of injustice and betrayal. I'm going to share a secret weapon with you about anger in a moment. But first, can we talk about something that just needs addressing? And this is the unjust labeling of female abuse victims as bitter. It's so disheartening how both men and women can perpetuate this harmful stereotype. Society often struggles to understand the complexity of the emotions that abuse survivors go through. So instead of recognizing their justified anger, some people just dismiss it as bitterness, attempting to actually undermine the experiences and emotions. But here's the thing. That anger is a force to be reckoned with. It is the fire that can fuel your journey to freedom. Think about it. When you harness that anger, when you channel it towards breaking free from the chains of abuse, it can become a catalyst for change. It becomes determination to stand up for yourself, to reclaim your sense of self-worth, and to create a life that is free from toxicity and abuse. Anger, when used effectively, can help you set boundaries that you never thought possible. It can empower you to say no to the mistreatment that you've endured for far too long. It can drive you to seek the support that you need, whether it's therapy, coaching, legal assistance, or connecting with other survivors who actually understand what you've been through. But here's the twist. You do not want to hold on to the anger indefinitely. While anger can be an initial driving force, it's not meant to be this permanent thing that you hold on to. The ultimate goal is to move beyond it, to let go of the intense emotions that tie you to that abusive relationship. And this is where healing truly begins. So as you move through the stages of recovery, you'll actually find that anger evolves into a tool for transformation. It becomes this guiding light. It shows you what you deserve and what you will no longer tolerate. It can propel you towards that crucial step of letting go of that love that you had for your abuser. But this doesn't mean forgiving or forgetting. It only means prioritizing your own well-being right? You're prioritizing it over that toxic connection. And in the end, that journey that you're going on isn't really about holding on to that anger. It's about transitioning to a place of indifference. It's about reaching a state where the memories of abuse don't hold any power over you. It's about healing and growth and rediscovering your worthiness. So to those who ask whether victims of abuse have a right to be angry, the answer is a resounding yes. Anger is an ally on your road to recovery. It's that ember that's going to ignite change. It's the voice that says, I will no longer be a victim. I'm a survivor. Stronger.